Hey A-Train, have you ever hit the bong and got that fiery dragon throat feeling? Yeah, it sucks. Well, the solution to the smoothest cannabis smoking experience is Freeze Pipe. Visit thefreezepipe.com and use world record for 10% off. That's thefreezepipe.com and use the code world record for 10% off your entire order. What were you saying, A-Train? I was just saying, you know that movie Turning Red? Yeah, it's about periods. Did you see that movie, Aaron? Not yet, no. That's good. It spoke to me because I, too, was in my early adolescence obsessed with boy bands in the early 2000s. And they want to go see, you know, their their favorite band, Four Town, their boy band. And, like, you know, they were so excited to see them. And, and she has a Tamagotchi, and it's the, one of the... One of the guys in the band's name is Robert, like he's French. And she calls it Tamagotchi Robert Jr. And she's like, you're going to meet your daddy. <laughs> like she's so, like she just like is in love with them. And it reminded me when I was probably 13 or 14, I was into the Jonas Brothers. And I was watching a video of Joe Jonas like on his tour bus. And I was like, I think I'm in, like I felt like I was truly in love with him. Joe Jonas. Truly. Wow. Like, like, I think a lot of girls, and that's kind of what the boy bands did, was like, oh, yeah, my sister girls was, genuinely love, were in love with these Yeah, my guys. sister was huge into New Kids and Donnie Wahlberg. Oh, wow. I see, I was in sync. I was a little... How, a little your younger. sister's old as shit. No, she's 44. Ooh, that's Ooh, old! Oh, fuck. damn! Girls should not get older than 40. No girl Sorry. should be older than 23 or weigh more than 110 pounds. Am I right, A-Train? For real, though. Well, no cap, dead ass, I for real. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to sing a song about it? Not particularly. Okay, here, I'll get you started. Oh, wait, me sing a song about how women shouldn't be older than 23? Yeah. That's how old we were, I was when we got together. That's right. No woman should be I'd older than 23, 23 or weigh 110 no pounds, you see? No, hold on, wait, try that again. No woman should be older than 23. No woman should weigh more than 110 pounds. Hmm. You see? It's kind of tricky. Okay. No woman should be. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Than no woman should be older than 23. They shouldn't weigh more than 110 LBs. There you go. Or weigh, okay. No, no woman, woman should, should be older, older than, than 23, 23. Or weigh any more than, than 110 LBs. Or weigh more, more than, than 110, 110 LBs. LBs. But I'm older than 23. Shh, I come weigh on, it's more a good song. A, okay. No woman should be older than 23, 23 or weigh, weigh more, more than, than 110 10 LBs. Now play keyboard in the middle of it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, let my hair No down. woman should be older than 23 or weigh more than 110, 110 LBs. LBs. Should be older than 23 or way more than 110 LB. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No woman should be older than 23 or way more than 110 LB. That's a song you can sing. Did you turn my thing off? How did I turn it off? The batteries are probably dead because you let our rotten kid play with the keyboard. He loves it. He goes up to the keyboard. He goes, uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, he's 14, uh -huh. so he's stupid. Uh? Uh, oh, my oh! God! Look at it's what we got friends. going on. Holy shit. Didn't even know that hey, was guys. it for a second. <laughs> Uh, fuck yeah, we're up in the pod. Oh, the oh pod. look at this. We've got a number one ass kisser fan right here. Look at this. Whoa, look at Whoa, is that is that a real mustache? Is that real? <laughs> it is real. Yeah, look at it. It's all real. It's all real. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we've seen you. It's been so long since we've seen you, Joe. It's usually a little bushier. I kinda trimmed it beforehand. It looks nice. It looks nice and 
groomed. Yeah. What's the what's the uh, carpet uh, match to the carpet situation? The downstairs. Is it did you, trimmed up? Did you go? Did you do some landscaping? No, no, I didn't because I didn't think my groin was going to be on today on, well, the, on camera today. That could be. You know what? Has anybody, Aaron? Has anybody ever trimmed their pubes live on a podcast? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Uh, was it Ari, <laughs> Ari Shafir? Yes. Oh, there you go. Such a rapid ant. You had such a immediate response to that uh, it's, question. It's, it's a memorable pretty, bit. Pretty uh, close in my mind, unfortunately. Did you see the guy's wiener and balls? Oh, I've uh, no se- way around several times. Yeah, several times. That's disgusting. Well, Ricky. Sorry, you had to see that. Yeah. But uh, Triple had to Triple had to wear them as a wear them as a beard. Oh, that's, that's so just, cool. I wish I, I wish I was that's in with that crew. How do I get in with that comedy crew? You like Triple E. Don't stop. I don't dislike nice those guys, but like I'm not like as deeply entrenched where, where, where I'm wearing their pubes on my face. I feel like after Jackass was over, it just like the, the juvenile humor just went way off the deep end. Like shaving your pubes and putting it on your well, beard. it became like it's people like, that's were, like they a did that on Jackass. Thing. Well, they did do that on Jackass. Remember, they all shaved. It was an pubes. amazing, an amazing prank. That, that was had, a great prank. everything. That was a great prank. But the what taxi was the prank? cab when they put they? Oh wait, I think I remember it. Aaron like, Danger Aaron. They put they made a beard out of their pubes <laughs> on his face, glued him to his face, he, then had him get. You didn't know cab. that till the end. He didn't know until the end, yeah. That it was pubes on his face? Yeah. Well, and see, then that's they, the funny part. See and there. No, because then he had, he made believe he was a terrorist and got in a taxi cab right. that was driven by the guy from Super Troopers. Uh, I, I, what's his name? The Indian guy. Jay uh, Chandrasekhar. Yeah. He had a long last name. Which I have a story about. I had just watched that movie, and then I went to the Coach and Horses, which was a great uh, bar on up on Sunset near... Uh, where Meltdown used to be, too. Two places that are gone. Um, and Co- Coaching Horses was like a good kind of like drunk bar. And uh, I was there. I was drunk. And Jay Chandrasekhar. Uh, how do you say it, Aaron? Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar. Uh, That's good. He was there. And I like was embarrassingly like, oh, man, I just watched that. That was so funny. I mean, I also like Super Troopers, too. I wasn't like... I probably wasn't as bad as... Uh, Is that the funny I just, story? I just... I never... Uh, did I say it was a funny story? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, no, it's not that <laughs> funny. Did, yeah. What was? The, where's the funny part though? Well, because then uh, <laughs> he guess who was in the back room was Don Knotts, and then he came out and was like, "Whoa!" And I was like, "Damn, Warm. that's funny." Nick Swartzen has a funny bit where he's like, "You're telling someone a story, and you realize that it's like not Sucks. that funny." Yeah. And he's like, "So then Steve stabbed a guy." And they're like, "What?" <laughs> See, that doesn't. That's not very funny either. Yeah, that stabbing's not funny. Your story about my his story about his thing is it's also funny. not funny. Well, you tell her, Joe. She doesn't get enough real talk. Why don't you kick this fucking asshole off the podcast? All right, bye, it's Joe. It's our podcast, so bye. Bye, bye, bitch. You've been begging me for months. <laughs> We've been Finally begging here. to go I wore out. A t-shirt. I wore it. We've been begging to go out to dinner hair. with you. I know. I like that. You're, you came ready to party. Yeah. It's my real hair. I like everybody has, this is the new thing. On Zoom, everybody, when Zoom started, everybody was all about bookshelf backgrounds. Now everybody's like, let's get in front of some framed shit. Oh, <laughs> this, is some, my, this is my room. What? This? Oh, my Harvard documents and uh, the, <laughs> my fake Harvard diploma and my... Uh, They're my, all fake diplomas, <laughs> yes. <laughs> my LASIK like, surgery. Uh, my the gifts. State Board of Embalmers and Funeral Directors. Oh, you have something like that in your car. What the is Department it? of Defense. You, you're I, like I ordered a bunch of like fake diplomas for one of my office, like the first time I had an office. Oh, uh-huh. that's funny though. Work, and I just got like a bunch of fake diplomas. And then when I moved into this place, I found them all packed up. And so I, I hung them up on my wall. That's great. I got to get you. some of those. I'm going to steal that idea and get famous for it. Be like, this is totally my idea. Yeah, and you're just going to be sitting there like, I did that first, but no one's going to care. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would, should be pretty easy for you to get famous for that because I've just never really tried <laughs> to turn it into fame. But yeah. I think if you did, it would be easy. If you pitched the, it or yeah. something, I'll pitch like a it. Show yeah, or... pitch it. I'll pitch, pitch it, it as to a show. Um, Fox. Netflix. I'm all about pitching stuff to Fox now. I've never pitched Fox anything. News. I've never Roku. pitched anything. Roku, IMDb the IMDb TV, TV. 
Venmo Plus. That's you, that, was that was my oh, idea. That was my idea. You did pitch to Venmo Plus. Venmo Plus, yeah. Yeah. I have, I have a couple of things in <laughs> the works there. People really don't um, make things private on Venmo. Like you can really figure out a lot of stuff. All my about shit's private on, on Venmo. Venmo. A lot of people don't make their stuff private, and you can see all kinds, like people you never talk to, but you have their phone number, so you can see yeah. who they're yeah. paying money to. It's just weird. Well, it's all part of the whole, you know, the oh god, everybody what just now? showing off. Here well, it's we, like people just want to see. They're just go. like, all right, uh, yeah, Aziz Ansari. I paid him for lunch, baby. <laughs> Me and Aziz had lunch, everybody. Look. Aziz. I haven't heard the name Aziz Ansari in a while. Well, you, you've really, had your head buried in the fucking toilet then. For a story that wasn't like that crazy, he really like hid, like has been hiding out. No, what are you Did talking he about? decide to hide out? I feel like it was his. Uh, yeah. It was his move. I right? think that was his strategy is like. Just lay low. Lay low. He like came out with a comedy special where he's like sitting on a stool. And then <laughs> he. His I whole voice change, it's like low and yeah. deep. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> introspective. He doesn't, yeah. yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> He's like, all right, <laughs> y'all, we got some real talking to do. I did like when he was like, Randy. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Oh, my God, the best. He it's works funny. really hard. Uh, I liked him. If I had worked cute half face. as hard as him, I would be still not successful. <laughs> but I would f at least I'd feel like I gave it the old college try. Did yeah. you guess Did what? Did you go to college? A little bit. I went to Penn yeah. State for a year or two. I don't know how long I was a up there. A little bit. I mean, well, I talk with my kid. I remember being being a kid. Yeah. Boy, wasn't it great being a kid? Yeah. Back I remember being a kid. But it was sort of assumed at a certain age, middle school, that everybody would go to college. Yeah. And Not now with my kids, you know, I have a 13-year-old, seven crazy. and five. All kidnapped. I'm just sort of like I don't think you guys have to go. I don't all, think you need. All to go. kidnapped yeah, in the basement. Brendan, Brendan doesn't want our kid to go to college. No, it's I, a scam. Kinda, I mean, they can if, if they want to. They, but I, but I'm like, I don't think. I, I feel like the vibe is totally different now. It's like I don't know. I was not yeah, the neighborhood I grew up in. Yeah. People didn't talk about. There was no college. Nobody thought they were going to college and where I grew up. And oh, then, the hard, hard streets. Yeah, we. I grew up in those. Uh, you either were going to grow up to be a crip or a blood. And that's just the way it was where I came from. And, yeah, Philly. Uh, but I Philadelphia, did, right? Home of the Crips and the Bloods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, from the cream cheese. The revolution. I had, some, I had some Philadelphia cream cheese this morning. Really? It's the best. It's a big spoonful of it. The best. The best regional cream cheese. I would There's say. really, then, they do have, has anybody challenged Philadelphia? Like the, I mean, I know Trader there's Joe's. like offshoot brands of like, yeah, like, you know, whatever bullshit. But there's no other national cream cheese brand. I mean, they no. did it right. What? How could maybe you improve upon the Philadelphia? Uh, but you know what? I have a theory. Maybe that's maybe that's a good business idea. Oh, not not to unseat cheese? them, but because they'll buy us out, probably. They'll just be like... Right. Do like artisanal cream cheese and then wait for them to spend whatever, $30 million. Ooh. Yeah, I don't even think it has Maybe to be artisanal. Wait. I think just call it Pittsburgh oh. brand cream cheese or something. Oh. Just a, but you know, we're going to have to get it in all the stores and stuff and probably get a factory. Maybe some cows. We'll return after these messages. A train, I have a confession to make. What's that? I have been smoking my weed out of a freeze pipe and I got all my friends addicted to freeze pipe. It makes smoking weed such a smooth, cool experience. You freeze this little chamber, you pop it in your bong or your pipe, and then you have the smoothest hits and you blow the biggest clouds. And me and my friends are high all the time and I'm breaking up with you. All right, sounds good. Freeze Pipe makes everything from pipes to dab rigs. So check out their entire lineup at thefreezepipe.com and using the code world record for 10% off your first order. That's thefreezepipe.com and the code world record for 10% off on the site. Get one, then you can be my friend. You can hang out with me. We can smoke weed. We'll get high as shit. And I'm also single, so we can go pick up chicks. Sounds good. Go hang out with him. Bye. Now back to our program.
We or maybe I was thinking about that the other day because I I would like to have money at some point. It would right? be nice. I would like to be able to like I have a rental car right now because my Volkswagen station wagon got hit oh, in a hit god. and run. Oh god! Well, my rental car is a Range Rover. Oh nice! They just gave me a, a Range Rover. Nice. At, like the the normal rental car rate. And this is the first time that I've been like, I need, I need to have this car. Like I covered the car. <laughs> Driving it around is so fun. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It feels so safe. Yeah. And it's also yeah. nice to have people like when I get out of the car, assume You're right. that I yeah. must either be an asshole or be successful, you know, yeah. or married it's to- nice to have someone assume something about me or, yeah. or <laughs> married to a rich guy. I see a or lot of married or I'm married to a rich guy. I see a lot of ladies um, driving around in Range Rovers who you can tell they're so stupid they can't even spell their own name. Well, wait. So wait, Joe, finish your thought. <laughs> well, no, Brandon so so it's been making me think, you know, I was like, oh, maybe I could ask, like, maybe the rental place, like, sells the cars cheaper. Maybe I'll yeah. see. You know, what does it even do. cost to buy a Range Rover? They're fifty uh, yeah. to $70,000. Yeah. And then I was like, well, wait, why don't I have money? How come I don't have, like, a lot of money? How can I make a lot of money? And then I was just thinking about, like, oh, Maybe I'll invent something. Like I went for a, a hike with with my little dog in Griffith Park, and we were up looking out over the city. And I was like, "Yeah, look at that city. Millions of people. They all they all have money, and just they're just waiting for me to take it." Yeah, yeah. I just need to give them the thing that they want. But then I stopped there because I don't know how you invent something. So like <laughs> even if I come up with an idea, how do I track down the like tra- the factory in China to make it? How do I, like, I don't have the confidence to be like, this is the idea. Yeah. I'm going to figure out how to do it. Well, how do you make a cream cheese company? Well, number one. You have to go to business school. Well, no, no. First step, be born rich already and have parents who, oh, okay. who have, inst- you know, have parents who've already done it. So it's not this like. It's not an impossible, foreign, difficult thing. Yeah. Really, like, how, I, I, had, have re- I don't have to reinvent the wheel here. I, just, I need to already have money. Yeah, well, you and have the time already and having and resources or just the guidance too of like a parent who has like a Fortune 500 company and they're like, well, this is what you do here. I'll introduce yeah. you to my financial right. guy. And then they, we have investors that'll give you money for this. And then I will well, just have a bunch of people take care of it for you because that's like oh, anybody who invents anything. I mean, yeah, there's guys in garages. Well, with yeah, like you ever watch like Shark Tank? I mean, sometimes I think I have a good idea, too, but I'm like. Exactly. I don't know. Motivation. Where do you go? What do you, I don't know anything about business, profit margins. I don't know. I've had the idea for unstainable underpants for 20 years now. I made a version, an art piece version that I sold over Christmas where I handmade the unstainable underpants. I know. I was there. I remember that. But (laughs) the getting actual, like I, it's probably not that hard. Well, I mean, I don't know. I've, again, I, I, I'm not. I wasn't raised in a starting your own business kind of environment. You I was in a, raised in a working class. In a shut class. up and get a job with the city environment. Whoa. And the, but like to get just underpants manufactured that are yellow in the front and brown in the back. <laughs> I just, it's like, it seems like it should, it should cost five cents a pair. You could get them made in China, super easy. And I just still can't crack the code. Well, you just I mean, how it. hard have you tried? I bet we could figure this out now. Okay, let's Should do we it. Start That's this around. Well, there's a company called Alibaba. That... Are you going to get a Range Rover for real? No, I mean, I know what you mean though thing, about getting the thing a now is too, like I have this station wagon. It's finally paid off. Maybe I paid it off last year, but now it's like I can't. It's worth like two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So I can't do anything with it. I'm not, but I need to just drive it into the ground yeah. until it dies. But the longer I wait, I feel like the harder it's going to be and the more expensive cars are. Yeah, yeah. So, like, there's no, once again, my timing is just atrocious. Just give up You hope. are just, you're just, you fit right. You should move in with us and you should be a part of our family because that's what we talk about every day. Just give up hope. How everything I mean, is yeah. aligned against you. And everything. Well, is listen, this is the whole, <laughs> yes. the, the whole de- design of, well, we won't get into it, but yeah, this, this is a, this is a, a, a controlled demolition of the middle class that's happening from within, starting with COVID and closing everybody's business and now making gas costs too much for people, you know, gas but costs why? more than some people. Why, why, why do they want to destroy the middle class? 
Well, they're they're consolidating the wealth up to the top, and then oh, no. it's it's going to All be. All right, let's stop this. It's control, okay, really. Okay, okay, okay. Well, don't you know, get them started, please. Don't get everybody living in FEMA camps. Don't don't get them started. This is the number one. It just complaint. seems like it's harder to control. It's it was better when there was a, a group of people who were like happy and content. Well, like you can still limit the amount of. But when you have demons in charge, the middle class has access to without putting us in FEMA camps. But when you have demons in charge, that's uh, all that all goes out the window. No, because listen, this is what happened with the French Revolution: was that people were so like how we are right now. They were so oppressed, 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 and then we're going to get a little bit of, you know, we're going to get a little bit of relief, and that's when we go cut everybody's heads off. Well, nobody did after the relief. Yes. I've yeah. already been so many let them eat cake moments, just like in this year. Well, nobody I cares. Know, you know? I know. But that's but this is another thing. This is why the media has everybody fighting about a don't say gay bill, which <laughs> is like, what is that even? You know what? That, that, You're not allowed to say gay. When like, I was reading wait, it Congress on Twitter, is passing a thing where you can't say the word no. gay. It's illegal. Well, that's the way it's presented, though. And everybody's fighting about that. And trans okay, can swimmers. We, can we talk about some, can, we, <laughs> can we talk about how to make unsustainable underwear? I don't want to talk yes. about. Let's call around. Yeah, I bet we can figure it out today. Okay, let's call around. Did you see the Batman? What do I do? Well, wait. I want to hear about. Uh, we'll make some phone call. I'll, I'll look up some. What do they call that? Uh, what is that called? Clothing. Uh, Clothes. <laughs> no, no. It's called te textiles. 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 I have to, I started, I opened my notebook to take notes. I have this already in here. I don't know what it's from, but does Ooh. this help? But that's the pizza and the crust. Oh, were you that's, playing that's like Pictionary? Like a, that's like a fractions problem that you did with your kids. This seems businessy. Yeah, it does. It seems like you're trying to invent something. You're on to something with that picture. <laughs> I don't know where this is from, what it came from. Well, wait, let's hear Joe's our guest, and he has a lot of interesting stories, starting with a hit and run. What happened there? Oh, so interesting. I don't know if I should say on air because I, oh. I defrauded my insurance company. Well, oh, well, then don't. That. I won't name names, but they have a, they have a lizard as a spokes lizard. Uh -huh. No, I didn't defraud them. <laughs> Actually, I, I was, and part of the reason I want another, a big car is totally ego because yeah. I do my middle schoolers carpool every Tuesday. Yeah. So oh. I take four 14 year old boys Oh in my God. little that's a, can i interrupt you for a second that's a fucking yeah. cream. that's a fucking cream dream okay go ahead <laughs> <laughs> do you ever pick them up after, after they go swimming they're all in wet bathing suits <laughs> no these are not athletic kids okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um and their school is like an expensive private school but they really don't have sports or like a gym or anything like that I don't say it's expensive as a brat. I mean, it's expensive right. because it's a, it's a huge Because everything here is, yeah. God. Um, but <laughs> it's a perfect place. It's the perfect place for my son. And he's very happy there. And we got a nice financial aid package this year. Good. Um, but this car is so small to cram four 14 year olds into. That's and they're all, and all their parents drive like big car. Like they yeah. didn't know how to open the um, hatchback <laughs> of my Volkswagen, they were like hitting the button and just waiting it for to open automatically. Like yeah. they didn't know Stupid. they have to like click it and lift it up. Yeah. Right. They were just like, how do we open this? Yeah. It's like, just o open the door guys. <laughs> and they're all squeezed in there. And they're just like, I can tell they're very judgmental that I don't have a big, get, you know what you should get day. what's affordable and what's really nice. And I really horse want and one. buggy, a horse and buggy. <laughs> I'm going to be serious. A key how get how a Kia, a get a market. Kia Telluride. They're I've been looking really at nice. a Kia Telluride. They're really nice and they're affordable. Kia, Kia has done a Kia is fucking job. killing it, dude. I want a Kia. Their Telluride. new electric car is also like very handsome. They're very cool. Very. And then you get, and I think they're better. I think Range Rovers kind of um, suck. Like the upkeep is really yes. bad, but I think Kias are. Have a this gets one. actually pretty decent gas mileage because I can see it right out my window right now. Ooh. Dude, the problem is it's car. white. I don't like white mm. cars. Get like a black Kia Telluride. Then you'd feel, I mean, it is crazy, Those are about but you would 40, feel so much 000. better. But a lot cheaper than a Range Rover. Half, still yeah, nice. about half as cheap. Yeah, still yeah. a lot. No, I've been, I've been looking at those. Okay, good. I was driving, uh, 
I was it's driving up uh, Los Feliz Boulevard and there was a Rolls Royce behind me. And I, Hello, this is from Hello. Oh. Hello. You there? I thought this was a recording. You sound like a yes. recording. Uh, textiles. Is this textiles? Sorry? You do textiles? We do textiles. We're Okay. Uh, we're looking for, so what, how does it work? You manufacture, like if I, let's say I want a shirt that's one color on the front and another color on the back, how you could do something like that? Yeah, we can definitely do that. Um, are you looking to produ uh, produce a line? Yeah. Yes. It'd be undergarments for men. And we have Joe on the line too. He's just, just so you know, he's listening in. Okay. Uh, yeah, so actually the first step is to schedule an introductory phone call uh, with a salesperson. And that's like just like a quick 15-minute call. You can talk about your project and see if it's a uh, good fit. How do I make sure they don't steal my idea? Because this is a revolution. I'm going to revolutionize men's underwear. Okay. Um, you want to do that, uh, once you schedule the, uh, the introductory phone call, they're going to ask you for... Uh, reference pictures. Um, you can ask to be for a non-disclosure agreement to be signed. Okay. So that way you uh, you make sure that we don't share your idea with somebody else, which of course we don't, but just as an assurance for you. Have you ever been accused of that before? No cap? No. Dead ass? Dead ass, no cap. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, this is going to revolutionize men's underwear and I guess women's underwear. Yeah, you should make you should make it red on the bottom. Oh, Hellman. Well, tell them about your because this is Hellman. You should produce a line too because of the way you wear your underwear. There should be some. It's called backwards under. Well, it's called bush underwear. So okay. it's underwear that women can wear backwards. Where you know how on women's underwear the front part is smaller and the back part's bigger, obviously because it has to cover the butt and the front part's smaller. Whatever. Yeah. So this is underwear where the front part is bigger because it's for women who don't shave and have big hairy bushes. Okay. And so she wears her underwear backwards now. I, ha I have to wear my underwear backwards because there's no underwear where the front part's wide enough and big enough. You know, has like, you know, sort of like a men's, you know how men's underwear has like a little like, like a little sack. A little pouch. A little pouch. Yeah. So. Yes. But that's not what I'm calling about. That's a separate idea. That's a separate idea, and don't tell anybody that idea, please. Don't tell any. Uh, yeah, for sure. Say swear to God. Yeah. Cross your heart. Swear to God you're not going to steal the backwards helmet underwear. We're idea. not, no. Swear to God. Yeah, we don't even produce our own line, so we don't ever share that with other customers. We don't share projects in between Okay. Them. Well, just yeah. swear to God that you're not going to steal her idea. Fuck yeah. You better yeah, not. I'm not. You say, say, I swear to God I won't steal her idea. I swear to God I won't there steal that idea. Joe, did you get that? Did you write that down? Did you write that down, Joe? Yeah, it's confirmed, yep. Yeah. Got, I got the time and everything. Two, uh, twelve oh two. p.m. Okay. So what's the first step? for me to call to get my underwear line off the ground and how does it work you guys manufacture everything here in the united states yeah we actually the... we do development and production okay and i just so draw a picture do... and show them what i'm talking about yeah you you can do as little as just like having like a sketch um the introductory phone call is just talking about your project but once you start uh, you decide to begin your project with us, you're actually going to be assigned an account manager, and he or she will be able to help you, like, make your project uh, come to life, basically. Okay. From, like, a sketch to a reality. And then what's and then the, production. like, let's say I wanted to make multicolored men's underwear, just tidy yeah. whities or even, you know what, boxer briefs, or what's the most popular men's underwear? Probably boxer briefs. I think... Who wears tidy whities? Do you, Joe, sir, Joe, Joe, do you wear tidy whities? Joe goes commando, I think. Boxer brief or commando. Honestly, I'm often, I often don't wear them at all. Oh. Um, but, but boxer brief, I would say. Doesn't that kind of leave? I switched about 10, about 15 years ago. I've never looked back. Doesn't that kind of leave your stuff like kind of 
flapping around like, makes you feel free. Like not free though, but like it's. Um, I think you chub up uh, randomly a little. Ex don't you chub up more randomly? I mean, I only usually just with jeans. Like if I'm wearing yeah. sweatpants or shorts, I'll yeah. You got to usually put several like three or four pairs of underwear on. Yeah. To keep it safe, I'm. I'm saying. talking jeans. Yeah, he's talking jeans. I'll free. I'll go commando in jeans. But doesn't sometimes. that doesn't the doesn't the inseam of like where the zipper is? Can't you get your no. wiener caught? No. Well, in it's there? button fly number one. Oh. Uh, but um. Yeah, only button fly. What do you wear, sir? Boxer briefs. This is for what R and D. Yeah, this is for R and D. Research um, and development. Uh, I wear boxer briefs. Yeah. So we'll go with them. And so how would like how would a deal work with like so you guys manufacture it all, and then like I get these in the Target or Spencer's Gifts or whatever or what are some other places? Walmart. Walmart. Is that like CVS? The, is CVS? Is that the kind of production that we'd be talking about? Like, would you, like, would I be able to, you know, what's the manufacturing cost? How many pairs can we get on Shark Tank? Can we get it in uh, Target? Can we get it in um, Rite Aid, CVS, H and M? Probably not H and M. Bubba Gump, maybe. Do, can we do branded yeah. things? Um, Planet Hollywood. Is it mass pro mass produced, or do you do like just the design and sort of conceptualize the the, the prototype, and then it gets mass produced elsewhere? Yeah. Like small batch. Do you do small batch? No, we do uh, we do full production. So I could get like a million pairs of underwear made. I don't know about that. It's that's a uh, lot. Yeah, maybe that's too much. A what's million? a good? Yeah. Well, I don't know. What's so? What would the cost per pair of underwear be? It honestly it depends on the style and how many you want to make. Yeah. It depends on a lot of factors. I cannot tell you at the top of my head. And you guys make the underwear here? Like you get fabric and you sew all the underwear together? Yeah, or do you we get do it our, all our production here in LA. Huh. Oh, that's good. Okay. Keep it local. I mean, that's a selling point. Made in the USA, so then we could charge yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Well, because it would be more expensive, isn't that the... I don't know. What about uh, logos? Could I put, like, um, you know, the Nike logo on there or whatever? I don't think you'll be able to put the Nike logo, but you can put your own logo. What if it's the Nike logo but backwards? Yeah. Uh... I really couldn't tell like, you. Or upside down, that. like anti, anti oh, yeah. Mickey or something. Or, yeah, because there's parody laws. So we could do Mickey Mouse, but like have him giving the finger or something. Yeah. Or have him with like horns or something. I don't know. Joe, is there any I just, way? I wouldn't want to get this company in trouble. Yeah. Just for, you know, I think that maybe we could get a third party to put the logos on. Your hair oh, looks okay. good today, Joe. Yeah. Joe's hair looks, uh, Joe, we're on Zoom with Joe. Sir, have you, have you ever seen a Kia Telluride, the car? I don't think so. They're really nice. You know, we were talking about Joe had, um, you go commando in jeans sometimes, Joe? Yeah. And I do that as well. I used to do it a lot more when I was younger. And you know the movie, this is a true story. The movie Idiocracy, remember that movie? Yeah. Uh, it was made in Austin. I was living in Austin, Texas. And this used to, I don't know if this happens to you, Joe. I imagine your butt, and no uh, offense, I imagine your butt is hairier than mine, Joe. I don't know, man. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I, don't, well, I don't have any, I don't really have hair on my you're hair. You're pretty hairless for the most part. Yeah. Oh, then yes, it is. It's, there's no, so like I fell asleep on my couch with just jeans on. It was like hot Austin, Texas night. Ew, and I got kind of uh, like a rash on my butt because I wasn't wearing underwear. Does that ever happen to you, Joe? Did you ever get like a rash? Uh, no, sorry. I was just doing the crossword for a minute. Um, okay. No. It doesn't so, happen. But, so then get this. So then the next day, there was this casting agent. I used to go audition for stuff or whatever. There was a casting agent in Austin. And they said, can you come in? There's this movie, Idiocracy. We want you to read for a couple parts. I read for a couple parts, and in the last one, you remember how they have a movie where it's just an ass on the screen? Yeah. They were like, do you want to do the, do you, are you comfortable with just showing your ass? 
And I was like, yeah, I guess so. But it had fucking all these like, it had like a rash, rash on, on it. The, ew. They I was like, of all like the days. Disease. Of all the days to make me show my bare ass. That's kind of the story of my life. Oh, God. To be go. honest. You Who's the casting that? agent? I'm, I'm looking to do some acting. Beth something. All right. Beth Sepko, I think, is the name. I don't know how I just pulled that out of my ass, but Beth Sepko casting in Austin. Let's see. Do you do any acting? Uh, I don't. Okay. Well, I let's get started. Like, I don't want to waste your. I guess uh, it's like, why not? Yeah, why okay. not just like audition for a commercial every now and then? Because you don't really have to be good at acting. And if you get a commercial, like you make a shit ton of money. I saw like three people not that really. I just know sort of from Twitter and social media on commercials yesterday that I didn't even know they were actors. That's what I'm saying. It's like, Three you don't them. really have to act to be like, pick up a... Yeah, right. Yeah. Mmm, it's good coffee. It's pretty good. Look, there you get you $50 fucking thousand dollars. No, you don't, though. You used to get more money. And now, according to the commercial actors, I know it's oh like God, you it's get... Oh, hot as that. Yeah, can we turn the AC on in her? Here. It's hot as a bitch's... Wait, what was it? Hot as a bitch's titty. Yeah, bitch's titty. So how do we get, um, so where, who, who do I call to talk about the underwear thing? Uh, you'll have to schedule an, uh, introductory phone call. I can send you a link to schedule that if you like. Thanks. Sir. Okay. Uh, is it okay if I send it by text or would you rather have you, it by email? You can text it to this number. Okay. Then I'll oh, go ahead and do that. Feel good so as hell. Oh, oh, that feels good. I'm on the phone. You're saying that right into the phone. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. So I was saying that I, uh, I can go ahead and send you the text so you can go ahead and schedule the uh, phone call. Okay. And is this, do you yeah. guys have, what are some of your biggest clients? Do you do stuff like... Um, we do a lot of like underwear and you do um, lingerie. Oh, ah. wow. I called the right place. Yeah, that's nice. We also do like swimsuits, um, that's or, or active wear. Oh, swimsuits! That's Joe was just riding, driving a bunch of fourteen-year-old boys around in wet bathing suits the other day. And I said to him, "And tell me, correct me if I'm wrong. That's a freaking cream dream, right?" Please, please, Brendan. Can we, can we keep this professional? Sorry. Give him the number. You shouldn't be no, talking he's like texting that it to, to your lawyer, Brendan. Oh, okay. He I've known Joe like for a long time. Yeah, and, I and think it's, okay it's a professional relationship, and you shouldn't be saying disgusting things like that. What's disgusting about saying it's a cream dream to drive around with a bunch of <clears throat> boys in a One car. time, my we got bagels and cream cheese. This uh -huh. is the second time I'm talking about cream cheese today. And Cormac, was my oldest son, was struggling to put the cream cheese on. And I, and I said, you have a little trouble creaming your bagel? Uh -huh. And my seven-year-old knew that creaming was some, like something because because my 14-year-old was like, oh, dad, don't. Ugh. Yeah. Huh. My seven-year-old. So now he'll keep saying like, oh, I'm creaming over here. But he thinks <laughs> that it means pee. He thinks it means pee. Oh, pee. So he's like, I'm going to go take a cream. Or like, what are you doing in there, creaming? And I can't correct him. I mean, obviously. Um, but he knew, like his brain cued into the fact that there was something naughty about it. But he just... People. Creamy P. That's a good name for like uh, something. What are you doing in there, creaming? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could call. I'd it cream laugh, P. dude. I'd be laughing if I was you. Did you tell? I do. I laugh all the time. He he is very funny and very naughty. Very okay, angry. we got to let this guy go. Did you did you text me that uh, info? Yeah, I'll oh, text you, you the link as soon as uh, we finish this call. Okay. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, no, but if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to um, ask me by text. I can surely reply. Okay. Yep. Sounds good to me. Well, maybe this idea is finally going to get off the ground. Yeah. Hopefully. It's going to be a huge. So what's the split you do? You don't, is it 50-50 split on profits or something? No. Oh. So I just, you, I buy it from you and it's like, it's very low wholesale costs. Yes. Okay. What do you do? Correct. Are you? Is that? Uh, what? Is, what's that noise over there? You, you. You have lunch now. 
sounded like I'm not. it sounded like you were opening. And tell me if I'm wrong. I, I, I'm going to guess. Did you guys hear that noise? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to guess that it was a. Uh, I'm going to guess that it was a plastic, like a sandwich from, like a hard plastic case from, a, like a grocery store sandwich. Mm. I thought it was a ba- big bag of pretzels. Some papers. Big box of pretzels, Joe says. I Helmet. thought maybe when you said lunchtime, I was thinking like the parchment paper that you get from like a deli. Okay. Oh, I love that stuff. Okay, so I got sandwich. Joe has pretzels. Hellman has parchment paper. Now, will you reveal what you're having for lunch, sir? Extra, uh, extra. I'm having chips. Yeah. So I guess Joe's probably the me? closest. Yeah, I think so. Joe's undefeated. Joe's undefeated. Well, he's a lawyer. Uh, he went to, uh, what's the college you went to? Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. Okay, well, we'll let you get back to your lunch. And, um, yeah, text me that info. We'll get, well, this is going to okay. make us all rich. Thanks. Thanks, man. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. 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 Now, now I want chips. Now I want I want a deli sandwich now. Well, maybe that was the maybe that's all I needed to do. I just never came across that place before. All you have to do is plug something into Google. Oh, is that all you have to do? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I'm think, <clears throat> trying, you know, I'm trying to get some some material together to do stand up. Okay. Oh, this is great. And th- this just reminded me, Amanda. Yeah. So you know, you could go to the deli and get yourself a sandwich and wrap it all up beautifully in that parchment paper. Mm-hmm. You ever try to wrap that back up after? <laughs> Good luck. That's a one-time wrap job. You, try to, you ever try to wrap that thing back up? You're just gonna throw the whole. You may as well throw the whole thing. You gotta eat that thing in one fall in one sitting because you're not wrapping it. Back up. Uh oh. That was awesome. I liked it. Some of there's a faction in the back, but they've probably been drinking. A I mean, I had set up, I'm probably fine. I had the whole thing. It's relatable. It's just something I'm starting to think about. Obviously, it's still being developed. Just write it down. What's and, some and other put it stuff? In your notebook. What are some other ideas you have for stand up? How my son thinks creaming means pee. How I want to buy a Kia Telluride. This is my idea, Joe. Sell your car to CarMax. Use that money. To put a down gun. on a on a <laughs> Kia Telluride to lease, yeah, and then can you lease yeah. from CarMax? No, you have to buy. I think for, or you can trade it in, but like lease a new one. Just get a new one. Get a new. I've one. never owned a new car in my life. That's why you need to do it because it will make you feel all better. I'm being serious. Brendan got this Kia. He has a Kia Nero. I mean, he's had it for almost three years now. <laughs> but that made a difference. I think it you I like that feel, Kia Nero yeah. car. That's I a good like car. That, it's not that Dude, a hybrid is huge. Not that bad. Also, we it's got huge. those Speaking of your So wait, we never got to the bottom of your of your hit and run story. Oh, right. So what happened? You're driving down the street or you're just parked? I was hit <clears throat> while parked earlier or late last year, and then this year I was hit while I was turning People who aren't, aren't in LA or Silver to okay. Lake are not going to know this. I, was it a flying Tesla? <laughs> I know, right? Oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was like a. It was a like a Nissan. It was like either an Infinity or a like a Nissan. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it was an Infinity. It okay. probably was a Nissan though. Right. Worst driver. Worst drivers. Right. Mm-hmm. All over this town. Yeah. Nissan. Uh, I think Tesla drivers are also terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And and BMW drivers usually feel like just very aggressive as well. Mm-hmm. I was just making a left turn and this guy blew through the light oh and like hit me, knocked me off. We were in the middle of traffic, a very busy intersection. I What's had the three intersection? Beautiful boys in my car. Huh? Oh my What's gosh. the intersection? Um, do you know where King middle school is? Like if you're going down, yes. Is it Hi- Hyperion Fountain. or maybe it's fountain there? Oh, do I know where that is? Yeah. It's cream dream. Going there. to like Hoover. Yeah. Yes. Right by that Porsche dealership. Okay. Uh, a little bit. I was turn, making that left turn. And a guy hit you, and you got three 
14 year old boys in the car. Beautiful boys. Yeah. Mm. Hit me. Luckily, I, I actually kind of slammed on the brakes instead. Of, I should have accelerated, but right. my natural inclination was it's to just, slam on the brakes because yeah. there was a car coming at us. If I hadn't done that, it probably wouldn't have hit me. Yeah. But it was very close to like severely injuring one of the, one of the kids in the car. Oh shit. And then they just kept going. They just took off. Yeah. I pulled over, but it was like, I didn't call the cops or anything. I just got the kids to school and here's the big irony. It wasn't even supposed to be my day to drive. Oh, that's like that movie. That's Clerks. how it always happens. Remember the movie clerks? He's Listen, like, I'm not Joe, even supposed to be here today. Joe, I'm now oh, yeah. I'm now I'm focused on you getting a new car. Now I'm Well, you know it. what? Let me tell I don't know if I've ever told this story. Or maybe I did when Derek Waters. Well, was let on. me can I just say okay. one last okay, thing? Yeah, so yeah. I I drove around for like a week or so with it because it just looked like the there was a little bit of the like fen rear fender, not even the fender itself, but like the little lining underneath it was a little cracked and the right tailgate was smashed okay mm -hmm. right tail light so i drove around like not a big deal i took it in and the guy was like you should not be driving this around your whole rear end is about to fall off oh, shit. i just got the estimate in and it's like four thousand seven hundred dollars to yeah, fix yeah. this of course fucking pardon my french yeah we don't fix swear. this car the car is truly probably worth two thousand dollars right yeah well that's didn't you sink a bunch of money into another car <laughs> that was uh god damn it brendan told me that story you, uh, your, your wife's car, didn't you have to spend a lot of money on that too? Oh, sure. That's a, but that's a beautiful 2000 Land Cruiser. I mean, that's a car. That's, that's a car that's actually that's appreciating. Good. Oh, oh, I thought it was like a Volvo or something. That's a good, that's a good car to have. But I'm very, now I'm going to pour all my energy instead of looking at minivans for myself cars for you well okay okay or maybe you could, or, or maybe you could clean the house i don't know we could, you know i'll clean your house yeah while amanda just googles things and forwards you links to things that'll never happen non-stop <laughs> great that great use, to me great nice use to be in touch with someone <laughs> it's nice god you're so mean i am the nicest guy uh -huh. in this town uh we got everybody, everybody the, knows that the reason we got new cars i don't know if i told you this story uh, Derek Waters and I went to this VR thing at this mall in Century City. Is that where it was? Or no? Something like that. Near Beverly Hills. There's some mall there. Something center. And they had some VR thing. So we go there. That's not important. Uh, we go to, on the way home from this VR thing, which was kind of fun. Do you ever do one of those VR things, Joe, where you go... I did a Star Wars one. Wait, what happened once. to your hair? Yeah. What? Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> my friend Laser Wang did that. He, my friend Laser Wang flips houses. He told the story. Yeah. Yeah. But he wore a wig. He's got a shaved head and uh, wore a wig when a guy came, when he went to look at a house. Or no, when a guy came to look at one of his houses. And, um, and then he went in and the And then he went in the bathroom and, and came out without the wig. And didn't and say just, anything. And he never said it. anything, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, no, Derek and I got, Derek had a Tesla, you know, one of those, uh, like kind of SUV Teslas or it's almost like a minivan. Yeah. It's got those like wing yeah. fucking what the model, the model X car. model what X. Dumb car. What's that? It's a dumb car. What a dumb car. Tesla's. Well, you know, well yeah. let me, you'll change your tune after this. Cause that is the safest okay. car ever invented. We got on my side. On the passenger side, where you know we stop at a stop sign, go through two fucking Russian assholes racing a BMW and a Corvette, T-bone us on my side, going at least at least fifty miles an hour, probably faster. Uh, oh. I remember just see so just oh shit, like seeing these cars oh. fly into us, yeah, spins us around a few times, and uh, but we're all we were all fine. And it was in uh, at this intersection in Beverly Hills, and there were two doctors, retired doctors, I think, because they were pretty old, uh, came out. And one of them just kept saying, if you guys were in a Prius, you'd all be dead right now. 
He said it like three <laughs> times, and I was like, okay, I heard you. Yeah. That's enough. But that's why, because you were driving your Honda Civic, and you were like, we have to get new cars. Well, and then I thought the cars. first thing I thought of was like, if we were driving in your Jetta with yeah. Marley and that happened, Marley would be dead. Yeah. 100%. If there was a kid in the, you know, if it, and if it wasn't that car, because that car has... It's honestly like if you look up like the safety rating of it, it is the high. It's like got well, like a 10 you were, because also, you can't die in you it. You took pictures of the inside of the car and it didn't look like there was any damage done. Yeah. Like to the inside, it looked the same. The it outside has a steel was all frame up, but, and yeah. uh, the batteries are on the bottom so it doesn't flip over, which is a big problem with SUVs. Sorry, I didn't mean to hijack, hijack your yeah, story. Brendan, well, no, has no. A, Brendan has a cooler. I don't have a story. Brendan has a cooler cr- accident story i'm like burt kreischer like that i was you have about something everything. on the top of your visor what look at look in the monitor thanks for telling me podcast is almost over <laughs> so you got an accident uh how were the boy what did the how did uh how did the boys react did they get scared uh everyone was okay anybody cry no, nobody cried. It's just teenage boys are very funny because they're like so concerned with being cool, except for my son, who is not concerned with being cool um, at all. <clears throat> but they're very concerned with being cool and being adult, and they always want to talk about crypto. Really? And NFTs. But then like the, the, the parents <clears throat> on the carpool, we all have a text chain, right, because we have to constantly communicate about it. Yeah. This and that, and who's doing that? And then we always hear about like what the what the kids are actually like at home. Mm-hmm. It's a very it's a very funny reminder of like how weird middle school is, and oh, how much strange worst. social pressure there is, and that it's... you're just like still a small child. But yeah. there isn't fourteen. Isn't that a freshman in high school? They're thirteen, I thought. Oh, yeah, they're thirteen and fourteen. That's so eight, they're that's all in eighth, eighth grade. grade. They're in eighth yeah. grade. Oh, okay. So they'll it's be going into Cormac is a, or my oldest is a little bit younger. I keep saying their name. I yeah, we can bleep fine. it. It's okay. You'll never uh, will ever hear this anyway. Well, I don't know. Yeah, no. I get it. You know what I don't understand is like the dopes on Instagram that put cover up their babies. Like some, you know, somebody has a baby and then they post a picture on Instagram and then like put like a baby. rose over the baby's face. Yeah. The, yeah. It's like That's them it. and the baby. What do you think? Somebody's going to fucking like print then, out a picture of your baby? But also it's just like, just don't put the picture at all. Well, Why put yeah. half the picture up? <laughs> Be like, see, it's me and my baby, but you can't, you don't get to see the baby though. Yeah. I was, <laughs> you know, I'm no, I'm no longer dating. I've been seeing someone now for about six months. Going great. But when I was dating... I always thought it was Wait, amazing. Wait, what do you mean you're not see. dating? Well, he means he's not out there anymore, so ladies don't I'm send not, us like, a bunch of I'm not, like, playing the field. I have yeah. a girlfriend. Threesomes? Um, DP, threesomes, <laughs> male, male, female? Fe- female, female, male. What's your question, Brendan? Uh, That's not really an answer. Yeah. The, do you so, guys do threesomes? Threesomes, male, male, female, male, <laughs> male, male, female? <laughs> Would you? Would your girlfriend want to do a threesome with you and Robert Pattinson? That's a good question. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And would that be one like a double penetration situation? I don't know. Okay. Would you watch her do Robert Pattinson? I feel like that would probably make you feel bad. Or would that turn you on? <laughs> Watching her have sex with a handsome movie star. I don't know. I mean, I think it would really depends on the situation. Can we get her on the phone and ask her these questions? No, she's very busy right now. What does she do? She's a painter. A what? That's cool. A painter. Oh, so like she paints houses and shit? <laughs> she, uh, she paints painting. She's an artist. Does like she a wear artist. those like trendy jumpsuits that people All the wear women now? Wear. Oh, okay. They look like no. gas station jumpsuits. She does not. I'll, she, I'll, one thing I really love about her, she can dress up very nicely, but she prefers to just wear like jeans and a sweatshirt that's kind of her uniform every day hey, well, that's what i wear <laughs> no bra it's simple that's what i wear though brendan you know, doesn't she, like she, that she looks very nice she always looks nice she has a style but it's like a simple kind of minimalist style mm. how old is she i like it because i don't ever feel underdressed uh 38 okay. not bad yeah i don't know did you hear the song we were singing earlier though 
<laughs> no. Okay, we'll sing it uh, later before we go. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. World record! For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. World record! patreon.com slash world record podcast.